Hey guys, how you doing? This is another session of Gearable. Let's begin this wonderful session today. So guys, let's begin. If you don't know how to, how I got to this stage or how I started the game or how I changed subject, guys, check my previous videos on the Gearable channel. So let's continue from this. 9 divided by 8. Let's do a calculator. You put the the number on the left hand part inside. And you put the number on the right hand part outside. So, 8 in 9, that goes once. 8 times 1 is 8. 9 minus 1. 9 minus 8 is 1, and then 8 is 1, it can't go, put a 0 and then put a point. 8 in 10, that is 1, 8 times 1 is 8. 10 minus 8 is 2, 8 in 2, can't go, put a 0, but this time you don't put, you don't put a point again. So, 8 in 20, let's use our times tables. 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So, our answer is 2. 16. Six, 20 minus 16, our answer is 4. So, is 0. 8 in 40 is 5. But 8 times 5 is 40. So now we subtract it. 0, 0. That means this is the end of our question. Of our calculation. So if you give Gilbert 3 decimal point in three in three decimal places your answer would be wrong even though it was supposed to be correct so you have to round the last number either up or you have to round it down so right in my case right now it's five so anything above five or exactly five you round it up anything lower than five you round it down so you round it you give this one, you give this one one more. That means our answer is going to be one point one three. All right. So that equals one point one three. So let's go and try it and get over. One point one. Let's see if it's right or wrong. So, seventeen divided by six. Let's calculate that. 6 and 17. I'm just going straight to join them up all right guys. So 6 and 17. Let's use our times tables. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. So 6 times 3 will work, but 6 times 2 will, because 6 times 2 is 12. So you put a 2. And you put 12. So 7 minus 2 is 5. 6, six in 5, you can't go put a point and put a 0. Then 6 in 50, let's calculate that. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 3 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 7 is 42, 6 times 8 is 48. 
6 times 8 is the closest because 6 times 8 is 48. 50 minus 48 is 2. 6 and 2 it can go to a 0, but this time you don't four points. 6 in 20. Let's count. Let's use our let's use our multiplication times tables. 6 in 20. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 3 is the closest. So that would be 18. And then you subtract that. 20 minus 18 will be 2. And then z equal to 0. Guys, have you noticed something? Our calculation is repeating now. Look. Six times now six in twenty is also going to be three, and then that would be eighteen, and that would be two again. You see, it's repeating again. Just the same thing like this one. All right. So once you've seen that it's repeating, what you have to do now, you have to round up or down so 3.83 you know the next number is going to be 3 so is this going to be rounding up or is this going to be rounding down i'm thinking it's going to be rounding down yes because 3 is lesser than 5 so our answer is going to be 2 points Eight, three. Let's see if we get it right. We got it right. Six divided by ten. Six on ten. Ten in six. That can go. So you put a zero. And then you, sorry. You put a point. And then you put a zero. Six. Ten in six. Sixty is six. So our answer is zero points. 6. It's okay because even though I didn't put the 0, it doesn't matter, alright? But in general, you have to put the 0. That. So our answer is 0. 8 divided by 4. So let's calculate. 8 divided by 4. 4 in 8. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Our answer is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. End of our question. Alright. So our answer for that this question is just two. Let's see if we get it right. And we got it right. 11 divided by 9. 11 divided by 9. 9 in 1 is 0. 9 in 11 is 1. So 9 times 1 is 9. 11 minus 9 is 2. You put a 2 on there. Then 9 in 2 is a combo. 
for a zero and for a twos. Nine and twenty. Let's use our nine times tables. Nine times one is nine. Nine times two is eighteen. So that's the closest. So nine times two is eighteen. Ten. Twenty minus eighteen is two. You can't go put a zero and then put. You don't put a point. So, guys, have you started to think? Thing that this is or uh, is repeating yes because 9 in 20 is going to be 2 again and then it's going to be 18 again and then it's going to carry on like that and so forth so forth so that me what we're going to do now is we're going to round up or down so let's look at this last this last number that we just did 1.22 is this number gonna round up or is it gonna round down i think it's gonna round down because 2 is less than 5 all right so our answer is gonna be 1.2 zero or you can just put it as one point two seven divided by one seven and one one in seven is seven so our answer is seven that was easy right three divided by eight three Divided by eight. Eighteen three it can't go put a zero put a zero put a point and put a zero. Eighteen thirty, let's see. Eight times one is eight, eight times two is sixteen, eight times three is twenty four. So eight times three is the closest and that is 24. 30 minus 24 is 6. 8 in 6 can't go put a 0 or we don't put a point. 8 in 60. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 7 is 56. So eight times seven is the closest. That is pretty Now let us subtract this. Sixty minus fifty six is four. So eight in four you can go put a zero, but you don't put a point. Eight in forty is five. Now, time for rounding up or rounding down. We look at this last number. Let me say, is it going to round up or round down? Right now it's 5, exactly. So it's going to round up. That means it's going to give him one more. And that would now be... That would now be 8. 0 0.38 all right let's see if it's right
One divided by nine. One. Mm -hmm. So, guys, nine and one equals zero. Put a zero. Sorry, put a zero and put a point. Nine and ten is one. Nine times one is nine. Ten minus nine is one. A can go to a zero. Guys, look, it's already repeating again. And that would be one, one. And it will keep continuing and left. So now it's rounding up or down. So this is rounding down. So our answer is going to be 0 0.11. Let's see if we get it right. Yay, yeah, it's right. Eleven divided by seven. Let's move our eleven divided by seven. Eleven divided by seven. So let's begin. Seven in eleven that would be one. Because seven times one is seven. And then eleven minus seven will be four. Good. So um Seven in four, Congo put zero and then put a point. Seven in forty. Seven times one is seven. Seven times two is fourteen. Seven times three is twenty one. Seven times four is twenty eight. Seven times five is thirty five. Seven times six is forty. Oops. Seven times five is thirty five. So that's the closest. So, 40 minus 35 is 5. Seven in five, it can't go. So, you put a zero, but you don't put a point. Seven in fifty. Seven in fifty. Seven in fifty. Let's calculate that. Seven times one is seven. Seven times two is fourteen. Seven times three is twenty-one. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Seven times five is thirty-five. Seven times six is forty-two. Seven times seven is forty-nine. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Whoops. We've gone too far. So seven times seven is the closest. So we put a seven here and forty nine on the fifty minus fifty minus forty nine is one. So it can go seven. Seven in one it can go. You put a zero. Seven in ten is one. So now guys, we've done three decimal places, but you remember I said your robot only wants what two decimal places. So our answer is gonna be what? So first, let's do it. We bring you round this down. Because it's a one, so our answer is gonna be one point fifty seven. Yeah. 
Okay, guys, one minute left. 13 divided by 6. Thirteen divided by six. Six times one is six. Six times two is twelve. The thirteen minus twelve is one. Six in one can go to zero for two points. Six in ten is one. Six times one is six. Ten minus six is four. 6 in 4 you can't go to the 0. You don't put another point, no. We don't do that. 6 in 40, 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 5 is 36, and 6 is 36. So 6 times 6 is 36. 40 minus 36 is 4. You see, now it's starting to repeat again. So that means it's going to be 6, 6, 6, 6, and more, alright? More 6 and 6 and 6. So, we've got it three places now. We look at this last number. It's 6, so it's rounding upwards. So you give this one. That means our answer is 2 coins. One seven. Two point one seven. Wait. Yeah. Two point one seven. Two point one seven. We got it right. Okay, guys, time's up. We we got good performance. We did 19, and time is up. So let's go to results. You hover your mouse over more, and then you click on multi, and then you click on the link. Then it brings you to this page. You come over, you come here to the top one, then you click final results. So this were the ones we got right, the ones we got wrong, and more right. So that is it for today. I'm gonna stop the video here. Bye guys, see you. Bye.